Abby Martin is an anchor for RT. She made a bold and courageous uh, move the other day, and she said that she does not agree with the Russian invasion of Crimea. She said it on air on RT, which is run by the Russian government. So that was very bold, uh, and she's gotten a lot of attention for that, uh, and well deserved. So she went on Piers Morgan with, uh, on CNN, and uh, had a discussion about this. A uh, couple of things she said I thought were right on, and then I, I love the ending of the interview. So let's watch this clip first. I mean, are you concerned about other parts of the programming on RT America? I mean, do you believe that although your show may have that kind of independence of voice, that a lot of the other programming doesn't and has drifted in the last week into blatant propaganda? Appears no different than every other corporate media station. I mean, we're talking about six corporations that control 90% of what Americans see, hear, and read. The lead up to the Iraq war, parodying exactly what the establishment said. I mean, you could reflect the exact same criticism on all the corporate media channels. So, you know, I can only speak for my show. I stay true to my moral compass, but um, RT toes the perspective of the Russian foreign policy, just as the entire corporate media apparatus toes the perspective of the U.S. establishment. The reason I love that clip is because, uh, number one, she's not being hypocritical. She's saying, look, RT does toe the line for the Russian perspective, but you guys toe the line for the establishment in America. And then she proves it with facts. And she's, she's right, 90%, uh, six corporations control about 90% of the American media. That's amazing. That's basically an oligopoly. And almost all of those corporations have enormous connections to the US government. For example, Comcast, which owns NBC and MSNBC, is about to do a merger with the second largest cable operation, Time Warner Cable. Well, they need government approval for that. So they scratch the government's back, the government scratches their back, and around and around they go. And by the way, they hire people that are in government, and they go back into government, and go to corporations, government, revolving doors. She's totally right about that. Obviously, I worked on cable news, and I'm very familiar with that, and there's no question. Now, I'm gonna give you one more perspective on that after we watch the next clip, because I, I liked Piers' uh, shocked reaction to this. But I think that the real question that should be asked is why do I have to work for RT to tell the truth about corporations and the U.S. government. I mean, seriously, you guys are beholden to advertisers that you cannot criticize, and that's why I work for a station that I can criticize. Well, hang on, hang on, hang sure. on. Say, I'm, I'm free to say what I'm free to say what the hell I like. Sure. No one's ever told me I can't criticize advertisers or corporate entities. That, that conversation has never happened in the three years I've been on air at CNN. Fair enough, Piers, but I think I think I, I think a lot of people deal with self-censorship all across the media spectrum. Oh, I certainly don't. That's probably one of my problems. I don't know. Maybe that was one of your problems, Pierce. And by the way, that is exactly how things work. If you do the right things, meaning you toe the line, you get promoted and re-upped, et cetera. And if you don't, you find yourself out the door. Now, I have no idea the relationship between Piers Morgan and CNN and what he was or was not told. I do know that in cable news, yes, if you're going to go after one of the advertisers, that's a major issue. Honestly, I remember one segment where I had one of the advertisers for MSNBC uh, as a point of criticism uh, in the segment that I was doing, and management called and said, can you at least move them down? And it was their station, and I, I'm not proud of this at all. And, you know, and obviously I stood up to that same management, and I believe that I proved which side I was on, uh, in that issue, but in that moment they said move it down. Does it happen? Yes, it definitely happens. Now I kept it in the story. They wanted me to take it out of the story entirely. I kept it in the story, but we moved it from the lead to a little bit lower in the story. Were they sensitive to the advertisers? Of course, of course they are. Are they beholden to them? Of course they are. Are they beholden to the parent corporation? Well, that's who pays the bills, of course they are. And are they beholden to the establishment? Well, I, I literally got a speech at MSNBC, uh, MSNBC saying that the establishment was not happy with my tone. Literally, that was said to me. So yes, I mean, Piers Morgan could be outraged and maybe he's outraged because that's his perspective. But I can guarantee you that there's a lot of perspectives in cable news where yes, they tell you, make sure you toe the line.